Hi there guys, welcome to Dino's Vault. I am super excited to present the Ultraviolet F77 Mark II. Before you, this is the fully accessorized model. This comes with panniers which can actually house the uh, portable charger that can charge it in uh, very rapid time. And apart from that, this is a technological leap in the Indian motoring uh, history, trying to offer uh, EV mobility and trying to take EV mobility to a completely different level in terms of performance, in terms of pure enthusiasm and in terms of pure uh, technological uh, innovation. Now, first of all, uh, in terms of uh, the kind of upgrades that the Ultraviolet F77 gets, uh, you can see the new color schemes that have been uh, launched. So this one is the all black color and the rest of the specs remain more or less the same. You have the steel radial tires, you have USD forks, you have 320mm uh, disc, dual channel ABS. But the most important thing that has been updated here is, uh, if you can see, uh, is the fact that now we get 10 levels of region which allows you to optimize battery efficiency and optimize the range and offers better stopping power and a safer braking mechanism. So 10 levels of region is unheard of in a EV motorcycle. That is a statement Ultraviolet is trying to make. Apart from that, they've introduced dynamic stability control which kind of stabilizes the motorcycle in terms of panic braking scenarios because you already have ABS working in tandem with traction control which is again being introduced for the first time so we all know how traction control works it prevents excess wheel spin and this bike comes with earth shattering 100 newton meters of torque yeah you heard me right 100 newton meters of torque so with that kind of power going to the rear wheel you can expect excess wheel spin uh, especially on slippery surfaces to prevent that they are offering traction control and three levels of traction control uh, depending on uh, the intervention of uh, traction control uh, you have rain you have uh, city and then you have track or sport mode where the intervention is bare minimum in rain or rainy situations or rainy scenarios the intervention is maximized to prevent excess wheel spin apart from that the color schemes you can see that color scheme if you can zoom in over there a little bit the yellow color scheme looks absolutely stunning and uh, the mark II uh, variant comes with a base uh, variant as well as the recon variant the ba base variant puts out a range of 211 uh, kilometers whereas the top recon variant comes with a staggering range of 323 kilometers yeah you heard me right 323 kilometers range from a single full charge and that comes from the 10.3 kilowatt uh, hour battery pack uh, that the recon model gets and this one the mark uh, 2 base model gets a uh, 7.1 kilowatt hour battery pack and offers a range of 200 and 11 kilometers either ways they are not taking away the fun from this motorcycle because both of the motorcycles come with the same top speed claim of 155 kilometers per hour which is absolutely phenomenal at the ring of the throttle you are actually activating flight flight mode and are ready to take off that's the kind of adrenaline rush that is going to hit you at the ring of every throttle apart from that if you can just come up uh, you can have a look at all these minute details and the attention to detail the kind of quality that has gone to making this especially uh, the turn blinkers the tail lamp uh, the steel radial tires to complement the kind of performance this machine has on offer uh, then you can also look at the bits and pieces like the charging uh, lid yeah so this charging lid that you see here is actually made out of aluminium again they have made a quality statement trying to improve the fit and finish and the build quality and uh, overall fit and finish you can see the beautiful swing arm that uh, adds on to the riding dynamics and the handling characteristics of the motorcycle uh, making it one of the finest in its segment this is the one of its kind motorcycle there's virtually no competition you have a sprocket you have a proper chain drive system to mimic as if you're riding a proper motorcycle there's no compromise there's no ifs or buts no coconuts no compromises and uh, this is what makes ultraviolet stand out as an enthusiast brand as a brand that is made for true motorheads out there so you can see first of all the 
panniers that are uh, uh, installed here are for touring purpose to make a statement that you can actually take an EV motorcycle for a long ride for a long distance touring and uh, there are people who have done uh, lakhs of kilometers already and uh, without any issue and uh, they say that uh, the kind of vehicles that are already plying on the road the kind of F77s they've already done more than 2 million kilometers without any major issue that's another thing and this is another beautiful uh, marvel the full color tft console as you can see has the f77 uh, this thing logo and uh, everything just looks perfect okay there you go here you have all the details of my f77 you have navigation you have my trips you have settings uh, you can get into display you can change the brightness you can change the mode also you have auto mode night mode and day mode let's put it to day mode and let's see it all changes to white so that's another good thing you have different themes to choose from you have radar and parallax let's choose parallax and let's see how it uh, looks exit and you know using this user interface is very very simple with the uh, choice of buttons that you have here and you also have hazard light switch uh, you have uh, these beautifully crafted uh, uh, protectors which act as lever protectors especially from the uh, front brake and it comes with uh, uh, yeah it comes with uh, adjustable uh, lever as well so apart from that if you can focus back on the speedo console here you can see that the side stand uh, deployed uh, warning has been issued everything is so intuitive and so perfectly made and practically thought out so here you get into controls documents bluetooth battery tire pressure monitoring you name it this thing has it so that is the best part and uh, it is the suspension is adjustable for preload so you can make it stiffer or softer as per your uh, wish and will and here you have the tricolor uh, proudly imbibed on the handlebar made in india for the world is uh, this thing so talking about the overview i'm giving you this update straight from the launch stage and uh, the best part about this is that they have launched the base model at just 2.99 lakhs so whether the recon model is going to get a price cut or not is something that remains to be seen but it looks like the hulk's ev i mean it looks like an absolutely muscle bike that is ready to take on the road and take on the competition and take on the ice and obliterate the ice vehicles with its you know dominating performance and dominating stance even the headlamp looks beautifully done you have the led drl right over here LED, led lighting the front fender is neatly put together again as i told you the usd folks i think these are 41 or 43 mm usd folks uh, again uh, you have uh, suspension kind of you know uh, encased behind this kind of suspension uh, protectors uh, fork protectors that really looks beautifully done and the seat is nice and spacious as well as you can see here uh, it has uh, adequate amount of space for the rider decent amount of usable space for the pillion as well it has winglets which are again functional winglets if you can see here this do add on to the downforce especially when you have earth shattering torque of around 100 newton meters it's better you have that kind of uh, winglets apart from that uh, the 0 to 60 comes up in just 2.8 seconds and uh, the 0 to 100 comes up in i think 7.7 uh, .7 seconds let me just go through yeah around 7.7 .7 seconds so that's incredibly fast and uh, the kind of range it has on offer more than 300 kilometers for a full charge uh, for a motorcycle now there are cars that can't match that kind of range in our market so imagine a motorcycle offering more range than a car which is phenomenal uh, stuff done by uh, ultraviolet and hats off to them it's a, a defining moment in the indian motoring history where actually ultraviolet is making a statement with their beastly beauty this is completely black and that my friend is the yellow color and that is the blue color feel comment comment below which one is your favorite trust me the black looks super stealthy the yellow looks absolutely vibrant and the blue looks absolutely super stellar i mean uh the blue is my personal favorite you feel free to comment below which one is yours so that's pretty much it so the key points that you need to take from this launch is uh the stealth uh, base model is launched at just 2.99 lakhs the recon uh, price has not yet been announced whereas uh, the 
battery packs uh, remain the same you have the 10.3 kilowatt hour battery pack and the 7.1 kilowatt hour battery pack two two models being uh, available i mean two battery pack uh, options being available and apart from that the rest of the equipment remains the same the updates are you have dynamic stability control which ensures that the bike doesn't lose control even when the abs is kicking in or traction is kicking in or the highest level of region is kicking in it maintains the stability of the motorcycle and that's where the dynamic stability control really shines through uh, this is one of the first motorcycles in the world to get that feature it's a patented feature by ultraviolet and uh, that makes us feel proud like as an indian motorhead and apart from that you also get traction control three levels of traction control 10 levels of region and uh, yeah dual channel abs as standard traction control can be switched off as well if you want to perform those stunts and that's pretty much it this wraps up the uh, overview from the launch what do you guys think of the new pricing and the new features new updates that uh, the f77 gets mark 2 uh, yeah the top speed is also up to 155 kilometers per hour now earlier it was 147 kilometers per hour and the best part is they have retained the same top speed for the low spec model as well so that pretty much seals the deal and makes a statement in and of itself thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next video until then take care god bless and ride safe